In this episode we're getting ready for the summertime and I'm going to be giving my first impressions on a brand new fresh fragrance release from the house of Killian. This is the latest addition to the Liquors collection and it goes by the name of Blue Moon Ginger Dash which I can't wait to tell you all about. So to find out all you need to know about this one and whether it's worth picking up for this summertime stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. My name's Paul and today's scent of the day is called Blue Moon Ginger Dash uh, from the House of Killian, which I'm sure uh, the name of this one might interest a few Manchester City football supporters here in the UK, whose, uh, whose team's theme tune is actually called Blue Moon and their star player also happens to be uh, a ginger. So for those who are watching in the USA or for anyone that's not into the football I do apologize for that lame uh, football observation uh, but this one came out just a week ago or so in uh, February 2023 and I picked this one up directly from the uh, Killian website and it was priced at 185 pounds for this 50 ml bottle size it's the uh, latest addition to the liquors collection and it comes in an order par from concentration Okay, so into the presentation, and because I actually bought this one direct from the manufacturer, it comes with a 7.5 milliliter travel bottle of uh, Cologne Shield of Protection, uh, and I also received a couple of free two mil samples of, uh, you can basically pick whichever you want, so I went with Angel's Share and also Love Don't Be Shy. The box comes in a, a matte black textured finish with a metallic gold branding and on the front is a blue and gold sticker with the name of the fragrance then down below is the size and the concentration. At the top is a, a, a gold Killian logo and then down at the bottom is where you'll locate all the uh, product information, the barcode and also the batch code. And uh, for all you hardcores out there, the batch code on this particular bottle is AC2-23016. Uh, the bottle on this one is an absolutely stunning thing of beauty and you get the usual crystal cut liquor glass design with this gorgeous blue hue that makes its way up from the bottom of the bottle. On the front is a, a gold diamond shaped plate featuring the, uh, the name and that's printed in white. And then at the top you get a large clear uh, plastic click on cap uh, which has a, a Killian logo there that's kind of etched into it. And then right down at the bottom is just a, a small sticker which contains the, uh, the size and the concentration printed on it. There's a gold atomizer which delivers a, a really nice, lovely, smooth blast of juice. And in terms of presentation, uh, this has to be up there with the very best looking fragrance bottles that you'll you'll actually ever buy. Uh, and if I could give this one an, an 11 out of 10, I would do. Okay, so into the note breakdown. And the top notes in this one are lemon and calone. In the heart, we've got ginger and vodka, and the base notes in this are ambroxan and white musk. Okay, so this one opens up super fresh with plenty of zesty lemon, but it's the watery aquatic notes of calone and ambroxan that you're going to pick up on the most. And it will remind you quite a bit of uh, fragrances like Aqua di Gio Profondo and Profumo by uh, Giorgio Armani. The uh, calone note in this one is a, a man-made aroma chemical which produces a juicy watermelon-like accord and straight away you'll get a big blast of refreshing watery juiciness. But this also has that ginger note that brings some slightly bitter spiciness and also the vodka note which uh, obviously vodka is odourless in a, a drinks format uh, but in fragrances it brings a boozy liquor accent to the composition so from the opening uh, spray through into the dry down you get like a, a bright tart and salty aquatic scent which smells very crisp and sharp but also with a hint of powdery muskiness in the background uh, which is coming from the uh, the white musk in the base. Uh, 
And this becomes uh, kind of more prominent and noticeable the further that it gets into the dry down. But overall, it's a, a super clean and super uplifting scent with a really effervescent character. And it's like sipping on a, a cold vodka on ice with a, a slice of lemon thrown in. And uh, I, can, I can only imagine how nice this is going to be in the summertime because uh, we're currently still in temperatures of uh, around zero degrees here in the UK. So I'm having to kind of imagine that we're in the middle of a hot day uh, during the summertime. Uh, but under these video lights, uh, that's not too difficult because they are quite bright and warm uh, but overall this is uh, like I say a fairly uh, linear fragrance that doesn't really change too much over time and the ambroxan is, is kind of what carries it through from the beginning right the way through to the end with some support from the ginger and the musk and although it smells a, about as expensive and as classy as you're ever likely to get out of a, a summer fresh fragrance there's uh, nothing in here that's uh, totally unique where if I smelled someone wearing it out, about, out and about in the street I'd uh, recognize it as Blue Moon by Killian. And I also think it's probably a, a little bit too similar to uh, the fresh fragrances that are created by Alberto Marias. Uh, and he, I, I, I even had to kind of double check on the Killian website to make sure that he wasn't the perfumer behind this one. This is an out and out summer fresh fragrance that would be perfect to wear in the daytime with jeans and a t-shirt but it's also sharp enough to wear with a clean white shirt on a, a summer evening for a night out in like a classy bar. It's definitely more grown up and sophisticated smelling than your general blue designer fragrances so I'd expect men possibly over the age of 30 to be wearing this one. It's really versatile and so easy to wear and there's uh, not a situation in the warmer months of the year where uh, this won't be suitable for. The performance is about as good as you can expect really from a freshie in this price point and it starts out with a, a very strong projection for the first couple of hours and you should get at least seven to eight hours of longevity out of it but I've only uh, had this for a couple of days now and I've only worn it indoors at home so I can't give you really any accurate feedback on uh, how well it performs but I'd say uh, comparing it against these two it's uh, possibly a bit stronger and longer lasting than the uh, Profondo uh, but not quite as strong as the uh, this old bottle of Profumo from the Aqua Di Gio line. So if you could manage to get your hands on a bottle of this with the uh, magnetic cap, uh, I think this is a uh, 2019 bottle, it is still the uh, strongest fresh fragrance that I've ever worn. And the day that this one runs out will be a very sad day here at uh, Max Frags HQ. Yeah, so if you enjoy salty aquatic scents, then you'll absolutely love how this one smells. And everything right from the scent quality down to the presentation and the bottle is absolutely first class. Uh, but what you may not love so much is the price that you're going to have to pay to own a bottle of it. And at £185 for just a 50ml bottle size, it's perhaps uh, not going to be unique enough uh, for some of you guys out there. Uh, and you are probably going to be miles better off uh, trying to find an older batch of Profumo or, or even purchasing the Profondo because these are in a similar ballpark in terms of overall smell uh, but you get over double the amount of juice in these uh, Armani flankers for half the price. However, as, uh, as silly as this may sound, the whole experience that you get from this one, when you know you've paid uh, a little bit of extra money for it uh, and you spray it from this beautiful Killian bottle, it does somehow make you feel a little bit more special when you wear it. Uh, I do prefer this one to the uh, the Roses on Ice and also the Vodka on the Rocks flankers from this range. And I think if you owned this and also the Angel Share flanker from this line, uh, you'd pretty much have the perfect duo to see you through the whole year and pretty much the only two fragrances that you're ever going to need, says the man with uh, over 500 bottles in his collection. Okay, so once again, that's about it for this latest episode. But don't forget, all this week, uh, the new releases just keep on coming and coming. Uh, and I've got at least another three new designer ones to talk about. 2023 is definitely spoiling us all so far with all these exciting new fragrances. Uh, but I'll also be reviewing some uh, super cheap dupes as well for all you bargain hunters out there. 
And as always, if you have uh, got any value from this video and you found it useful, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques and all other fragrances that feature in the reviews. So uh, don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. If you've already managed to get your nose on this one, let me know what you think of it. So once again, thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.